Hello, I want to show a quick demo of how you're able to create packages with WinClone 4.1. It's a new feature we're very excited about and I will walk you through the process of creating a package to allow you to deploy a bootcamp partition by just simply installing a package. Um, this feature is part of WinClone Pro 4.1 and the first thing you need to do is set up a bootcamp partition as you normally would and install Windows on it. I've already done this. I've installed uh, the new beta for Windows 8.1 uh, into this bootcamp partition. First thing we're going to do is we're going to shrink the file system. And the reason you need to do this is currently it's on a 16 gigabyte partition. It's only using about uh, 5 or 6 gigabytes. And so if we clone this right now, we can only st st uh, deploy it on a 16 gigabyte or larger partition. If we shrink the file system, that gives us the ability to um, deploy it on um, partitions that are smaller than 16 gigabytes. So let's go ahead and shrink it. All right, so now the file system size is 12.57 gigabytes. That means any partition that is uh, around 13 gigabytes or larger, you can now deploy it onto this. So the first thing we'll do is we'll go ahead and select the bootcamp partition and save the image. We'll click Save and we'll save it to this desktop. We'll call it Windows. Um, Windows for deployment. And hit save. So it'll go ahead and create a WinClone image of this bootcamp partition. Once the image in, once the imaging has been completed, we will now be able to create a package of that and be able to use our client management system to very easily deploy this bootcamp partition. Okay, the image is now complete, and you can see it shows up in the source as a source. Now, in order to create a package of it, it's very simple. We just select image on the left and select make package. Click make package, and we're presented with some options. The first one to look at is the package identifier. Whenever you install software through a package on OS X, um, it checks to see if the, the package has already been installed and allows the system to keep track of um, what packages have installed and what haven't. And that's based on the identifier and what version it is. We pre-populate this with a with com.tukadoos.winclone with underscore and a um, random number. And uh, normally you would change this to your company or your organization. So we'll put com.example.winclone uh, 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 package. That sounds good. And the package version, and since this is the first time we're creating this, we'll make this 1.0. If you were to create updated ones, you'd want to increase this package version number. This is going to create the package. It's not actually going to install the bootcamp partition. And so these next options give you options of what happens when this package gets installed. The first one is to create a bootcamp partition as a percentage of um, disk and restore Windows to it. So when this package is first installed, um, either through the command line or through the GUI, you'll select a target, the uh, disk that you want to install this onto. And what the package will do is it will use that Macintosh volume that's selected and use a percentage of that to create a bootcamp partition and then restore Windows onto it. If we specify this option, we have this slider that we can specify what percentage. So if you want it to be 70% Windows, 30% Mac, 50-50, uh, something like that, you can do that. You can specify what it is, and so the bootcamp partition will look at the size of the Mac partition and split it percentage-wise and then restore the, uh, the um, bootcamp partition onto it. The second option is create a bootcamp partition at a specific size. So since we know that our image is 12 gigabytes, we know that the size uh, we want to have for the bootcamp partition will be X amount. By default, it's 25. We can change this to, let's say, 50 gigabytes. And so then it'll restore the uh, wind clone image onto it and then it'll expand it out so that 12 gigabytes will now become, the file system will become 50 gigabytes. It'll still use the same amount of space, but the user will have approximately uh, um, 37 gigabytes of free memory to, to um, um, free space on their bootcamp partition. The third option is if you already have a user that has a uh, existing partition, you just specify the partition number and then whatever target is specified. So if it's it's um, specify the Macintosh hard drive, 
and it'll look on maybe that's the first or second disk. It'll look at partition four, make sure that it's actually a MS-DOS partition, and then it'll go ahead and restore uh, Windows onto it. So for this one, we'll uh, have it created a specific size, and we'll keep it 50 gigabytes, so we'll click Save Package, and then we'll save here, and we'll call this Windows 8 Package Install. And now we'll go ahead and actually create the package and uh, put all the resources into it so then when the user restores it, it'll create that um, uh, bootcamp partition. All right, now it's done. So now we can, we're done with WinClone, so we can go ahead and quit. And now you can see that we have this package that we saved onto the desktop and we can double click on this and you can see that it gives some information about it. It says, uh, it gives a warning and then it'll say a bootcamp partition will be created with the specific size and bytes um, and it will sort the selected Mac partition and then it'll be restored. And if you click continue, you can now uh, select your Macintosh hard drive and continue on. And then when you install it, it'll go ahead and actually create uh, the bootcamp partition as well as um, restore um, Windows onto it. So that's it. Thanks for watching and uh, give us any feedback on the new package install feature and head over to tutecanoes.com for more information. Thanks again for watching.